Hello, my name is Susan Mingle. I'm the clinical nurse educator for MedOne Group, and I'm here today to do a short video describing what the Alera system is. We get lots of questions from our customers about what are the modules, what do the numbers stand for. So I'm just gonna do a quick overview of each of the offerings of the Alera system, which is a modular system that's designed to provide multiple infusion modalities on a single platform. What I have here is what's called the model 8015 PCU, which stands for point of care unit. This by itself does not do anything. You have to attach one of the modules for it to run. It can hold a maximum of four modules per PCU. It does have the guardrails drug library loaded in it, and it can be used anywhere in the hospital where an IV is needed. For example, neonates, pediatrics, oncology, ICU. We're going to talk about one of the modules in the Alaris system. It's model 8100. It's the large volume pump module or LV key. The large volume pump modules are used for your IV fluid infusions, blood, intermittents, and continuous medications. You attach the large volume pump module to the PCU and it attaches by what's called an IUI connector. So you will cock it at a 45 degree angle and you want to push down at the bottom and hear that click. That provides connectivity between the brain and the pump module. So now you can access using the large volume pump module the guardrails drug library so you will have the safety software when you're programming your infusions which helps reduce medication errors at the bedside. This is the syringe module, model 8110. We typically see this used in pediatrics, neonatal settings, as well as anesthesia. It accepts up to a one up to a 60 ml syringe. It does have the capability of using what's proprietary called a pressure sensing disc. This just better accurately monitors pressure in the line and helps cut down on the mechanical slack for those really small syringes and very low flow rates. Again, an additional modality of therapy, all on the same platform, the Alaris system. And I still have an opportunity to add three additional modules should the patient's condition warrant additional infusions. The next module we're going to talk about is the PCA module, model 8120. PCA stands for patient controlled analgesia. This is usually used in like post-op patients to control the post-op pain. It is a syringe based delivery. You access to load by a key. And when you uh, attach the PCA to the 8015, it must be on the right side of the brain. This is a safety feature so that when you have to have the key when you are opening the door to load your syringe and you notice a latch here. This is how you remove the module and attach the module so that a patient wouldn't just be able to depress the button and walk out with the actual PCA medications. Typical medications we see, morphine, Dilaudid, um, fentanyl, and those are all part of the guardrails library, one library with safety software around those medications as well. The dose request button is what the patient will use if they're having some breakthrough pain. Let's say they are on a continuous med and they're able to press a bolus like every 10 minutes or so. This is the button that they will use to give themselves an extra delivery of medication. I have attached over here is the Alaris Model 8300 entitled CO2 module. The CO2 module, when used with the PCA, provides an extra layer of safety should the patient's respiratory rates get dangerously low. When the rates drop below the programmed settings in the entitled module, the pump will actually alarm, the PCA medications will stop infusing and the button that the patient's used to pushing will stop working as well. That way the nurse can come in, assess the patient and take whatever 
actions needed to get that patient breathing much better and much more efficiently.